But first, at 5 o'clock, the Tulsa State Fair starts in less than 24 hours. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. Tulsa County deputies will be patrolling the fairgrounds to make sure people stay safe and have a good time. News on 6's Johnny Resendez is live with more on what deputies want folks to know. Johnny? Well, Craig and Lori, deputies tell me they responded to close to 300 calls in last year's fair. This year, they're looking to get that number to drop dramatically, and they're asking for your help. 11 days of awesome starts tomorrow out at the Tulsa Fairgrounds, and organizers say they're expecting 1 million people to come out. And with big crowds comes big safety precautions. We have the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, the Tulsa Fire Department, some Tulsa Police Department out here as well. So we coordinate a lot of different things, and we're ready to have a safe environment for the 11 days of awesome. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office is offering up tips to keep you and your children safe out at the fair. They say when families get out here, parents should point point out deputies to their kids so they know who to find if they need help. Sheriff Vic Regalado says if your child wanders off, report it right away. The quicker that we get information into our hands when in regards to an endangered child, uh, the outcome is almost always positive. Deputies say last year they reunited 137 lost kids with their families. They say 19 people were arrested and they seized 10 firearms, nine of which were in the hands of kids. Regalado says there will be no tolerance for people who bring guns to the fair or start a fight. We will not tolerate idiots coming to the state fair and ruining it for people who are here to have a good time in a safe and inviting environment. The sheriff says overall though the fair is safe and they will work to keep it that way. It's a fun atmosphere where our citizenry can forget all the ails that are happening in our society right now and come enjoy the day at the fair. Now, the sheriff says parents can also get a wristband for their child with a phone number on it so it could be easier for deputies to reunite families. Reporting live in Tulsa, Johnny Resendez, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.